Good morning and welcome to another Facebook Live here at the Elms, um, Retirement Village in Torxey. Um, so today we said we were going to talk to you about what is an open day, probably because we've got an open day coming up on the 21st of September. Um, so during this um, chat, please feel free to post any questions or make any comments and uh, we'll do our best to get around to answering those. Um, uh, my name is Tracy, as many of you will already know, and I'm part of the management team here at the Elms Retirement Village. Um, for those of you that don't know, the Elms Retirement Village is um, an over 50s residential development um, in Lincolnshire. Um, and the idea being that we've created a lovely community for similar minded people in beautiful grounds in a well managed setting. And um, every now and then we run open days. Um, sometimes we've done open weekends, but this year we've uh, decided just to focus on um, two days of the year. And we've got another one, as I say, coming up on the 21st of September. So um, why is an open day different uh, to just uh, turning up on any other day? Um, and uh, we thought about that quite a lot. I mean, obviously, from our perspective, it's to focus everybody's attention to coming and visiting us. It's a good opportunity for us to kind of um, do some promotional work to, you know, let people know that we're here and what we're about. But I think open days are a really, really good opportunity to take a much more relaxed, informal walk around the park. Um, we often hear people when they arrive kind of almost apologizing for the fact that they're not ready to buy yet um, and uh, we think that perhaps sometimes um, there might be the feeling that if you're making an appointment it might be a more pressured situation um, you might feel that we might be trying to encourage you to buy a property um, obviously ultimately that is our aim but we do understand that um, when people are looking at the elms they're looking at a completely in some cases not always um, a completely new concept um, maybe moving away from a bricks and mortar property um, maybe moving county or a couple of counties away from where they've lived before um, and sometimes people are stopping work and moving at the same time so there's a lot to consider you know we really realize it's not like buying a fridge freeze you're not going to turn up and go with that one please and that's it job done um, so an open day really we think people that come to visit during an open day are more likely to probably put a bit more time aside um, and um, rather than thinking oh, well, i make an appointment for an hour and um, you might be more likely to think about reserving a morning or an afternoon or even the whole day to just spend as much time as you want or need to um, exploring the elms um, when we do viewings by appointment we allow up to probably two hours well as long as people need but usually they're about an hour hour and a half two hours and our mission is to explain everything you need to know about the management what's involved in purchasing a home, you know, how the whole thing works, as well as to give you a brief tour around the park and then a, a look in a few sample homes. And then we always encourage resident, uh, sorry, viewers to come back again, walk around the park on their own, take time to talk to residents that they might meet as they walk around the park so that they can hear um, from them, direct from the horse's mouth as it were, what it's like living here. Well, you might tick all of that in one visit when you come for an open day, because like I say, you're more likely to spend a bit more time wandering around the park, exploring what we've got to offer here, as well as obviously all the people, we've got our own homes that we are selling that will all be open. Um, all the residents here that have properties to sell will be, uh, they all know we're having an open day and they're more likely to be at home with more of an open door policy ready to uh, show you around their home. Um, so that's really what you're looking looking at there. Um, what to do when I get here? Where do I go? How does it work? Will you um, arrive? You'll see when you arrive at the Elms, we've got a lovely large um, car park area by the reception call up there, pop into reception, where you'll get a nice warm welcome. You'll be offered a cup of tea and a, and a biscuit if you've come a long way, or sometimes people like to just pop straight out and explore. So we'll give you some outline information, a map, 
uh, to the park and you can either walk and explore or now we've got golf buggy we could um, take you around um, and the good thing about going in the buggy we're realizing now one of the reasons why we bought it is we can go around all the little nooks and crannies of the park quite quickly so that way you would get the opportunity to um, be driven through the woodland walk around some of the landscaping um, uh, through the parkland area we pause and get out and go up onto the canal bank and have a look at the boat moorings and the view back down across the parkland area so it's a chance with the buggy to have uh, a faster view rather than walking around and also we make sure that you don't miss anything um, you know we're aware that we are a relatively large park and um, it might be a lot to accomplish in one visit to see all aspects of us. Um, so there we are. And then, of course, as we said, we can look in the home. So you will get lists of properties that we've got available. And if you want to do your research before you come by looking on right move to see what residents are selling, um, that might be something you might want to consider doing. But um, everybody has their for sale boards up or a sign in the, the window. And there are one or two residents that don't actually um, aren't using an estate agent so um, you might discover a few little hidden gems as well just by exploring um, around each road and having a good look around um, and as I said you would chat to residents that you meet along the way um, our residents are generally very welcoming and like nothing more than to um, to chat and bring invite people into their homes for a cup of tea whether it's for sale or not and just chat about what it's like and um, as I say here from the horse's mouth what it's like living here um, you can ask them lots of questions about pros and cons, you know, um, come with a list of things that you need to, to understand um, outside of the normal management things, perhaps more things to do with what's out and about and, and um, you know, um, how the atmosphere is on the park, things like that. Um, and as I did say, um, we usually have uh, free food and drink. Well, we always have free food and drink. We vary it from sandwiches to savouries, to cakes, just to keep it interesting. But um, you're welcome to um, uh, enjoy some refreshments with us. And again, sit down then and chat to the staff because the day really is 100% focused on visitors to the park. So obviously we're always welcoming visitors and showing them around, but on a busy working day, we might be having lots of other things happening, but the day is solely dedicated to you visiting the park and all the stuff that are available that day are there to talk to you, which is great. Um, so um, who is it for? Who might want to come and view uh, our open day? Um, well, again, it isn't just for people that have never visited the Elms. Um, I would say if you really, uh, you could be completely unsure that this is even something you want to do, but coming to an open day is a really good way of getting a really good insight into, into the nature of the park and, and um, lets you get a little bit of a feel for the place, perhaps more than a viewing. Um, but again, it's not just for people new to, to this type of thing. We have lots of people that come back on more than one occasion to really uh, be sure that um, they are definitely doing the right thing. I think those of you that may have watched the Facebook live chat that we had before with Sue Strangeway, one of our residents, where she explained how she came in every season just to make sure that she didn't fall in love with it on a sunny day <laughs> and then move here and go, hmm, maybe not. She came every season um, just to see how it, it changed and felt and obviously because it is quite a big uh, decision not in all cases some people move very quickly um, they've already done a lot of background research already understand a lot about park home living and they really when they come to us they are looking just to fine-tune things but a lot of people as I say are looking to explore and understand really what, what park home living is all about so um, we will be here, um, we will be welcoming you all, um, there's absolutely no limit to the amount of time you spend here on the day or how many times you visit before buying because um, as I think I was about to say, um, we understand that for many people it's a long build up to making the final decision so we're, we're quite used to seeing people even over a five year period pop back every now and then and just check. Um, whether this is still what they want to do, see what new things we've done, because um, every year, to be honest, we're doing something different on the park one way or the other, even if it's just resurfacing of roads, or uh, this year we've had two new installations, the Bug Hotel and two beehives, and the bees are settling in nicely, so there's, there's always something a little bit different to see. Uh, so, in conclusion, 
I'd like to say thank you for joining me today. Um, don't forget, if you are watching this on playback later on, you can still um, pop questions and comments in, but don't be shy to pick up the phone and chat to us. There's staff here all the time. So any questions you've ever got, we've got a wonderful new, uh, well, relatively new YouTube page that you can find just by searching Emma, does it come up, Elms Retirement Village? I think it pops up, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got our own channel there with lots of videos on. Um, we've just recently done some lovely new promotional videos that um, we've put across our different pages. And again, they give us, they're really nice little videos actually, just to look and, and uh, see a bit more about what's going on here. The tourist storage um, that we've got, the boat moorings, and at the elms itself as well. And we've done fun things like um, looked at, um, done a maintenance one where we've got the guys down on video doing all their various jobs around the park, which is a bit of fun. Um, so if you'd like to learn more, um, obviously you can visit our website. We've already talked about the YouTube page. And um, again, as I say, feel free to call us anytime. So I think in a nutshell that about sums everything up. Um, I'm looking to Emma, have I said anything? I think so. No, I haven't said about opening times. <laughs> um, we're open from about nine o'clock till uh, about 4 p.m. It just depends how many people turn up and how busy we get. Um, but the kettle will be on and there'll be cakes and sandwiches ready. So please do come along and join us. And um, that's it for now. Thank you. Our next live Q&A session will be about our mooring facilities. And we've got one of our residents here who's um, an expert on the moorings and has volunteered and helped at Talksy Lock and um, has a long history of, of um, boating himself. And he's going to talk, join us and we're going to have a little chat with him about the moorings here. OK, so thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.